Today's video is definitely the most different video I've ever done on my channel. Like I have never done anything like this before. I've kind of seen these like recreating like a celebrity's diet and training routine in a day just kind of floating around YouTube and I was like I would love to do something like that but I wanted to kind of make it a bit different and not do someone that I'd ever seen anyone do before. So today I have decided to eat and train like Margot Robbie for a day. I'm so excited because anyone who knows me knows that I have been a Margot Robbie fan for a long long time. So the other day when I was thinking like oh who's diet could I try and recreate and like whose training routine and everything could I do that would be like interesting. I managed to find like a rough estimate of our diet. I kind of looked around a few websites and a lot of them gave like vague answers but I found one that like I'm going to follow. So it says that she usually has like a very like laid back lifestyle when it comes to food and everything but it says when she's preparing for a roll or whatever she sticks to a very rigorous diet. Purges her diet of all saturated fats, fast food, sugary drinks and chocolate in preparation for rolls and it says that she follows a very clean eating protein rich diet and so for breakfast it says that she has porridge and a green smoothie. Now obviously this is very vague and so I kind of just made my porridge how I normally would make it and then my green smoothie how I'd normally make it. I made my porridge with about half a cup of oats and I also added in some psyllium husk and some flax as well just because I felt like it and then also some protein powder because I mean that's how I normally make my oats and it also says that she follows a protein rich diet so I was like might as well add some protein. So I did half a serving of my protein powder and my oats and then I did the other half in my smoothie with one frozen banana, some coconut milk, some spinach, and some greens powder. a few hours since breakfast and I'm getting hungry now so I'm going to have lunch and for lunch it says that she normally has like some lemon chicken with salad or something however I don't have any chicken and I cannot be bothered going to the store so I'm just going to make some lemon salmon because I'm like kind of the same thing similar enough and it says later on that she's like a fan of fish and stuff so I thought it would be fine to have some fish instead of chicken for lunch that breakfast actually filled me up so much because usually I either have like a smoothie or I have oats but it said that she has like a green smoothie and oats so I was very very full after that <laughs> Okay, so I've just finished the lunch. As I said before, I have changed it up a bit because I didn't have chicken, couldn't bother to go to the shops. And instead of salad, because we didn't have any salad ingredients, and again, couldn't bother to go to the shops. So I just did some roasted sweet potato, which I did see that she likes like roast veg and stuff. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna roll with that. Some rice here, which is like a mixture of rice, quinoa, chia seeds and something like that. And I just did a little bit of tamari over that because I read that she likes to have like a source of carbs, which is usually like brown rice, blah, 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 blah. blah. Some hummus because obviously and then I made the lemon salmon instead of the lemon chicken because I'm like you know what I think it's basically the same but this honestly looks amazing and it's a very Sophie dish as well so I'm sure I'm going to love it I've never actually made lemon salmon before so I'm intrigued by this mm. yeah those sweet potato fries Wow. Okay, well I just finished my lunch and it was very, very good. It was very filling. It really filled you up, but it also like doesn't make you feel like really like grossful. It makes you feel like lightful and just like I've got a heap of energy. So moving on to the next part of the video. For her workout, I looked it up and it kind of said that she's a very like method actor and she often like alters her training to suit the role that she's like going towards but from what i can gather she likes to do some heavy weights and also some cardio so i think i'm going to try and incorporate both of them i'm going to get change and then head to the gym because i also want to go when it's quiet and film and everything so i think if i go around when i'm planning to go it'll be quiet but i'll take you along and we'll see how i go 
very good that I went and did that because I haven't really been on top of my workout game lately and that honestly just proved to me that I need to get back on the train because it makes me feel so good and I just really want to like start hitting my fitness goals again but yes anyway now it is time for dinner which I'm very excited about and the article I read said that she usually has fish preferably tuna and also some baked vegetables so I'm thinking I might just have the leftovers of the baked veggies that I made today and then make some tuna I'm not really sure what or how I'm gonna do that. I'm sure I'll work something out. So let's head down to the kitchen and make some dinner. Okay, so I've just made my dinner. I had a little bit of trouble because I realized that the can of tuna I bought was one that you needed a can opener for and I couldn't find a can opener. So I stabbed at it for like five minutes, but I managed to get it semi-open and this is the dinner that I have made myself. It says that she has fish, preferably tuna with baked vegetables for dinner. So what I have got here is some tuna, some baked sweet potato leftover from lunch, and then I actually popped out to the shops and got like some salad ingredients because I didn't have a salad for lunch I thought I'd just like incorporate that into dinner so I've got some cucumber some tomato some spinach and then some hummus as well because I just need some hummus so yeah that is my dinner it looks really good like look at those colors also tomato and hummus is like the best combination ever mm. Okay, well, I have finished dinner now. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like dessert. I didn't really read anywhere that she has desserts, so I'm mildly disappointed about that. I still felt a little bit hungry after that dinner as well, so I just snacked on some more sweet potato chips and hummus. But yeah, overall, like, I genuinely think that this is pretty similar to my own diet, like oats in a smoothie, some form of protein and salad, and then, like, some baked vegetables. That is the way of eating that does make me feel the best, and I don't always stick to it because I like, obviously, other foods. But eating this way definitely just like yeah as I said makes me feel my best I don't feel bloated at all I can see why that if she does have like some sort of role that she's preparing for like this would be the way of eating I would go to but yeah overall I really enjoyed it probably could have gone with a few like nice little healthy snacks and dessert but that's okay like I'll let it slide because it's Margot Robbie thoroughly enjoyed all the meals thoroughly enjoyed the workout but yes I really really hope you have enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did also if you'd like me to do any of these kind of videos again like trying different workouts or trying different people's diets for the day or like a month or just kind of like whatever definitely leave any suggestions below because I would love to do stuff like that I just love love watching them and I think they'd be so fun to film I love a good challenge so yeah if you do have any suggestions definitely leave them in the comments and I will see you in my next video